Yeah, hey, hey, I got Yakunan, brother Yakunan on. What's up, brother? What's on your Kira, mind? you know I love you. Now. I just playing around. Don't, don't pay me no attention. I love you too, Thunder. Hey, uh, Shalom Garfield, man. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Go ahead, brother Yakunan. Yo, what's <laughs> what up? happening to me? Uh, uh, nah, oh. this, nah. Hey, oh, no, I was going to say, uh, I know you spoke with my other brother, Anonymous Hebrew, the other day. Um, mm -hmm. Now, he actually went down to Savannah and actually took pictures of uh, a, a number of views. And so um, from my understanding, from what he told me, there's, there's several different languages on there. Now, <clears throat> maybe you should take a trip down to Savannah as well. I don't you know, need to. I don't need to. We had the number one Hebrew scholar go down there. I don't need no, I don't need anonymous yeah. Hebrew or <laughs> any other Negro to tell me to go anywhere. I'm not being disrespectful, by the way. The, the number one Hebrew scholar went down there. Why do I need to go down there? I don't read the languages. That's you got to go to somebody who knows the languages. This is the guy that translated the book of Enoch for almost everybody in the world. So why would I want to listen to anonymous Hebrew or any person? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I didn't say I'm not, being, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying I'm keeping it real. I know. Hold on. Listen, I didn't say that, you know what I'm saying, you had to listen to anonymous Hebrew. What I was saying is this. I recommended maybe you go down there and see. Oh, what? The documentary is done. I don't need I, to go down there. I don't read the language. Why? Well, why? I'm, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, what do you call it? <laughs> All right. Let me ask you this, bro. You about, you basically right, let me ask you this. My, Brother, um, Yakinan, Brother Yakinan, let me ask mm -hmm. you this. Why? Let me ask you this, right? Um, What does the church say it is? Um, they had mixed feelings. At one point, they said it was Curse of Hebrew, and at another point, they were saying that it's West African shirt. Okay. All right. So now, they said it was Hebrew. Now, if I go on their website right now, what's it going to tell me? I'm on the website right now, it says, if I'm not mistaken, it says it's West Arab. I mean, West African script, like kind of like Arabic. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Okay. No. Then my <laughs> other question they have. Oh, great, great. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. This is your show. I'm sorry. So now, so now, so let me ask you this now. Mm -hmm. if that's the case. Should we start with the church and what the church is saying right now? If they change their 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 mindset, was it the reason why they changed? Did you guys do that research? I mean, no, I didn't really go in depth with the pew because I don't have a dog really in the fight in the pew. I know, I know, I know. But do you think? Do you think it's Hebrew? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because from what I was told, that there's several different languages on the pews. So my next question okay, so to you: Who said it's several different languages? Who said that? Hold on. Can I? Can I get my other? No, no, no. Who like, said that? I got to ask you a question. You say one by one. Who okay, said I've heard of. I've heard of boo. First of all, said that there's no definitive like language or definitive writing on there. That's why I'm saying there's any language there. We, oh, so forget okay. about Abu, brother, right? Who's brother, that conversation? Can, you can just said that somebody said, hold on, brother. Okay. You just said, and by the way, the reason why I'm pressing you because my channel, I'm having a lot of scholars on, and I gotta set a, I gotta set a foundation to how we deal with things. So if you make a claim, you're gonna have to defend that claim on the spot. So if I cut you off, I'm not disrespecting you. Are stopping you from saying anything. I just need clarity on the spot. So the first thing I'm asking you, what you just said, you said that there's several different dialects or languages. I mm -hmm. would like to know who said it and what what standard or what give them um, the permission to go around and say something like that. Okay, so no. a bull is not a um, a language specialist. I guess he does it for his hobby. Now, a bull said that there's no definitive like type of like. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, yeah, no, man. Sorry. Hey, sorry. I, I can't do this, with you. brother. I can't do this with you. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I'm answering your question. I can't have. I cannot have a. a, a I cannot have a, a legitimate conversation with someone who doesn't follow basic instructions. I said, who is the person that makes the claim that there's several different languages on the pews? That's all I'm asking. And what are the languages? I'm trying to give you two names, but you're not. Like, you Abu is not in this. You can't bring Abu because Abu never said there was a bunch of languages. Oh you can't God. bring Abu. He's not in this. No, I'm telling you what Abu said. And then I'm trying to tell you what Anonymous right, Tell me what the other brother said. Go ahead, brother. Okay, Anonymous been there as well, too. So he said that there's several different languages on there. There's uh, different people who wrote you know, on those pews. It's not just one person who had written on there. 
Now, my other question was going to be to you is, and I'm not arguing with you about the scholars you brought on to, you know, look at the pews. I didn't come to argue with you on that. What I was going to ask you is, did these guys look at every single pew or did they just chose a number of pews to translate? Okay. Yeah, they pretty much went through all of them, my brother. Okay. No, I mean, there's no argument there. Okay. All right, defenders of the what is it? Defenders of the faith or who? I don't Wait, know. my brother Sam Addison, Shalom Aki. All right, Shalom, defenders bro. of the way. What's up, my brother? Shalom, bro. Peace, bro. Peace, peace, peace to everyone peace. that's on the panel. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Question for you guys. <clears throat> um, my well, let me uh, first uh, deal with the actual topic. Um, you know, I think that the whole pew issue is futile. It's a waste of time. Uh, number one, uh, the scholarship that itself is, uh, there's no uh, consensus amongst the scholars. Some say it's possibly Arabic. Some say possibly solar uh, 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 trail, uh, you know, Arabic and all of these all right, things. Can I, one th second? I think can you stop, can you stop okay. one second? One second. Sure. Which scholar? Sure. Which scholars is saying it's sol solitary or whatever? Which scholars is saying that? Well, uh, scholars, they're not saying that it's a de definitive solitary. They're saying that it is a possibility that there is no uh, definitive. I just asked. I, I, I don't I don't I don't have the scholars you, you, offhand. You, 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 uh, don't, can, don't, can, don't, can I, can I finish? Do me a favor. Do me a can favor. I finish? Can I finish? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is how we do the Dagger Squad for people who don't know. You cannot make a claim unless you have something to back it up. So please don't say it. So that will avoid the questioning. This is all I'm saying. You could speak as long as you want, but make sure you have a source to what you're saying. Because the solo trio argument is what Benaya Israel came up with. And he had tried to get it in with Bunis and that was a whole mix up. So my brother, I'm asking you, please, you could talk. It's now 3.52. You could talk for five, 10 minutes. I don't care. Please don't say anything on my channel that you cannot back up that a scholar said it or somebody who knows the language. That's all I'm asking. Go ahead, brother. Okay, bet. First and foremost, uh, like I was saying, if you'd have heard the uh, conclusion of it, uh, the what I've heard from Abu himself uh, is that there's no definitive. He's not that, that the scholarship, and this is what I've heard secondhand, like I said, uh, from the folks that's in the uh, the argument, as far as Richard Katz and Brunus and whoever else. Uh, my point being is this, is that the uh, pews uh, does not uh, negate uh, uh, the geological, the archeological evidences that support a Semitic origin for the Bantu people. I'm at a loss to understand how we uh, uh, negate uh, the writings of uh, European Arabic historian Idris, uh, uh, I forget the guy name, I could get it for you if you like, uh, historian, a Arabic historians and uh, European cartographers and historians, uh, uh, pre-colonization uh, co uh, in Africa, and them and their uh, primary source uh, references to a uh, Shemitic or, or Shemitic tribes, I should say, in Africa, you know, hey, as far I, as the language ask, itself. Can the la can I ask, can I ask you a question? Now, Go as ahead. far as this show is concerned, I'm not here to debate who is a Jew or who is Shem, because if you don't know already, I don't believe Shem, Ham, or Japheth are actual people. I accept them as eponymous ancestors, which most scholars do. Now, I'm going to ask you a simple question. I don't care about the outside world right now. I'm just talking about the pews, my brother. If you want to come on my show and say, Garfield, I want to go two rounds with you. I mean, a couple of rounds with you, two minutes each. You talk for two minutes. I talk for two minutes. And I'll prove to you, Garfield, there's a Jew. I will, I will give you that opportunity on my channel anytime you want. But today, all we are talking about is what these folks are saying, is that the pews have Hebrew words in it. I think most people who are linguists who have looked at it said there's no words there. What the gentleman who is, who is the leading Hebrew scholar, black African scholar that's in America, Mr. Isaac, 
we better put some respect on Ephraim Isaac's name, Dr. Ephraim Isaac, who's been represented at Princeton University. He's now at Harvard University. We need to put some some um, respect on that man's name. The man said it's like it's like somebody chanting some sort of magic. You could see like certain like ah ba ah, la, 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 la. He's trying to say that there's no words there, but there might be some sorts of magical type of saying or something going on. He said there's no there's no Hebrew words there. So the Hebrew stuff is out the door. If you are going to come well, now and say there's Hebrew, let me finish because I made you rant for two ahead. minutes. Let me rant for two minutes. If you're saying that it's Hebrew, I would like for you to present the case to me that it's Hebrew. That's all we're discussing today. I don't care about okay, the Arab cool. sources because none of you guys, let me just tell you straight up, you cannot prove that you have some connection to the Middle East. And I could dig, I could, I could dagger you to death right now, right now. Are you okay. sure about that, brother? Right. Yes. Okay, I'm hold, hold, hold on, you hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me hold respond on. to that. Let me respond hold to that real quick. Way. First Listen and foremost, again. it's it's Listen. your platform, bro. I Listen. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I would like for you to prove to me, make your case that that is Hebrew. That's what we're talking about. The pews. We're not talking about nothing. Okay. Else. Cool. Okay, cool. I respect that. And like I said, I respect I respect your platform. And that is the conversation. That's why I preferenced it with uh, I don't really get into the whole pew thing. I don't make an argument for Hebrew, I think, this, or, or Aramaic or what have you. I think that the preponderance of evidence of scholarship, I mean, actual concrete stuff, archaeology, linguistics, philology, all of that stuff says that it's inconclusive and that no one has uh, any conclusive evidence. So that's my position on it. And I don't waste my time on it. But as far as your challenge, as far as your challenge that you just issued and said, you could right now uh, dagger mm -hmm. me with uh, the challenge of proving that Bantus uh, go back to the Levant mm -hmm. and that their culture and language go back to the Levant mm -hmm. and the archaeological. We can trace Bantus mm -hmm. archaeologically to, mm -hmm. the, to the Levant. I'll take up your challenge on that. Before we do that, so, challenge, I have one question for you. Do you have evidence of anyone coming off a slave ship claiming to be a Hebrew? Israelite. Slave ships, slave ships is any, a any red herring argument. Listen, it's a, it's a, it's a logical fact. Listen, listen, bro. If you're going to talk to me about a slave ship is a logical fallacy, I don't need to have a conversation with you. You're not that intelligent. You're, you're, you're your trying, argument, you're, you're oversimplifying a conversation. Now, in the chat, okay. do you believe the transatlantic slave trade happened? Do you believe it happened? Yes or no? Yes, I, yes, I right. believe it what happened in so, the sub-Saharan on? ones as well. What did they come over on? On ships. Okay. Now, did any one of those ships ever claim to be a Hebrew or an Israelite? The ships or the people in the ships? All right. Have a, hey, bro. Have a good day, bro. No, yeah. no, God. Garfield, don't run. Don't run, Garfield. Don't, don't, Garfield. don't, don't, don't run, Garfield. Don't run, Garfield. Don't Negro job, Garfield. 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 Anybody want to talk about the pews? Anybody oh. want to talk about the pews? Garfield yeah, didn't want that work, man. Anybody want to talk about the pews? No, you want to come up here and shift the conversation because Anybody literally y'all got debunked. If you're, you're not, not, coming not coming up here to talk about the pews, get up off of here. If you're not up here to talk about the pews, and if you don't have evidence to do, to refute what Garfield just brought out here. Yeah. Hello, anybody, 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 I'm saying it again. Does anyone have evidence that it's Hebrew on the pews to discount what Dr. Ephraim Isaac presented. That's okay. all I care about. Okay, look, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm not refuting any evidence that you brought out. Anything you presented, I am not refuting. Now, I was trying to clarify to you. Stop, 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 stop. Don't say another word. Gideon, do you have evidence to refute what Dr. Isaac presented? You no, know, I stand with it. There is no evidence either way. You, do you I have don't, evidence? I don't almost bother with the proof. All right, stop, stop. Let me talk to the next person who is on the panel. Chris, Chris, do you have any evidence? No, I don't. All right. Um, who is um Kyle? I think that's Kyle. But Kyle, you know, I ain't, but you know I ain't no Hebrew either. So <laughs> I don't know you ask me. But anyway, Kyle, go ahead, Kyle. No, I have zero evidence, but uh I think the issue is we're we're taking a fallacious argument. So if if we if there is no evidence for something, how can you take the position that something else has been substantiated? And that's the problem with y'all's argument 
Y'all would say, hey, he didn't say that it was not Hebrew, so it's got to be Hebrew. And y'all rolling with that narrative without any facts, bro. Who rolling with that narrative? I have not come up here and said that today. No, so, I'm not, no bro. I'm no, not, no, no, no. Not, y'all could not. Listen, listen, listen. If you want to debate me about something else, stay on the panel. And defend off the way. If you want to come back, you could come back right after this because we're going to get it in right now. I'm sick of you fake Hebrew Israelite claim. Let me ask you a question, bro. Fake Hebrew Do you disrespect Africa? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. you no, don't you ask any question. That, yet. That nobody ask. has no connection hey, to Excuse me. Yes, you do have permission to speak when it's your turn. Relax. This is not a rah rah. Let's run for the hills type of thing. We're going to have a conversation. We're going to have a good conversation. Is the whole thing with the pews over? Are we done talking about the pews? Anybody else in the audience wants the link to talk about the pews? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I think it would be good if we could get a consensus that there is no evidence that would show that the pews is written in Hebrew. Like If we can get these brothers to just acknowledge that... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, that's, all, that's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> finally, finally, yes, yes, Sharala said, just wait a Richard Katz, please. <laughs> hey, Garfield, can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Bro. Yeah, the problem is, and I think, let me, let me clarify what Garfield's trying to do. Many times when uh, you gentlemen get on the show and you guys all want to support, like, kind of support the stance to say that it is Hebrew or... You guys come in here with these talking points, and what he's trying to do is get you all to say, who are the scholars? You guys use blanket statements, which are nothing but talking points. You guys got to start talking more and presenting your argument more objectively and not being so vague with it and saying stuff like, well, the scholars say, and then when he stops you and say, what scholars? Because then we can get into a real scholastic conversation. And that's what happens a lot of time in these conversations. Like when me and Garfield were going at it, he was going at it about Tacitus because I was familiar with Tacitus' work. He made some good arguments. I made some good arguments. He don't want no smoke with me on that. So what I'm trying to say is, y'all, can y'all please start presenting your argument more objectively and stop being so vague with it with these talking points. That's all he's really saying, y'all. He ain't trying to cut y'all off, but he got to protect his brand, too. So go ahead, Garfield. No, Chris, they can't. Because they don't have nothing to present. They came with De uh, David M. Boonis, who didn't, uh, who they misrepresented, and he didn't agree with them. Then they made up a fake scholar. They don't have any evidence. So how can there be an argument, bro? So let me ask you a question. I agree with you. I agree with you, Sister Terry. They don't, but it's still fun to listen to it. Hey, who, who are you saying when you say they? All of y'all. I've never All met y'all. Y'all came on. Y'all came on here and said the scholars say. And when he asked you about the scholars, you guys Hold didn't on, present any scholars. It's just that simple. Hold on, let's get it clear. You've never heard me, seen me on no YouTube or in no dang uh, Facebook chats. Dude, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you and you in, you in all of their chats. You stop, guys, you riding this. You back in this. Stop, and and guess what? You riding off a lot just like the rest of y'all. Don't come I, up I, here with that. You ain't came with no evidence for the past four or five years since I've known you. So don't come I, up here and act like you don't know what's going on. Like you got selective amnesia. Hey, you can can't I, meet the standard that Chris Harris just told you right now. You're not meeting oh, the standard. Oh, oh, you don't oh, have the evidence. Oh, you don't have no backup. Scholars don't agree with you. So shut up. You ain't bringing in right, 17, right, right. you ain't bringing in 18, you ain't bringing in 19, and you ain't bringing it now. Do be hey, when you be hooping and hollering like that, what your man be? Y'all are stupid. Y'all are stupid. Where your husband be? Where your husband be? Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Right. Stop. 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 All right. This is what we're going to do. All right. Uh, man, I got a phone call. Y'all talk for a minute. Go ahead, guys. Hey. Hey, listen. Um, I agree. I agree with everything everybody's saying. I mean, yeah, I think at, at this point, man, you just gotta kind of chill out, man. But he realized that at least right now, y'all let it die down a little bit and then come back a little later. 
But right now, man, the block is hot, man. It's just, it's just too hot right now, you know. I mean, I, we, we love y'all. I mean, like Gideon, that's my guy. I, I, you know, if he come to Atlanta, man, I got him on me. You know what I'm saying? But right now, Garfield is on a roll, and I don't know if y'all want none of that, man. We just got to just gotta kind of chill out right now, man. That's, that's really it. All right. Hey, Sister Sherry, you calm down, man. You all yeah, right? I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I apologize to everybody on the panel, and I apologize to the brothers and sisters in the chat. But here's, here's the thing, Garfield. I'm sick of them coming here with lies. I'm sick of them. Every time you look around, their story is changing. First, the pews matter. Then they don't. Now, the reason why they don't is because they know that the pews ain't backing them. So when they know they lost ground, guess what? Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Then what you bring it up for? Then what you go to, what you riding on it for? All of y'all read on this, so don't sit up here right now and act, well, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was that person. No, it's you too. I'm holding all of these Negroes responsible for this lie. You made up a fake scholar. Then the other scholar that was an actual scholar, David M. Bonus, did not agree with y'all. Then y'all turned around and lied on the man, and you still ain't gave that man an apology. Man, get up out of here. At this point, your position position is non and void your mute yeah, okay hey, may i speak girl may, may i speak because hey, who is this yakanan this is your hookanan may i speak yeah, yeah 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 go ahead beloved what's up first of all this is your panel you know what i'm saying if you came on my panel brother i wouldn't let nobody come on and disrespect you first of all second of all this woman is supposed to be a christian she's supposed to show the christ-like behavior now i have not been rude to nobody on here this is your platform when you when you stop me when I was in the middle of a thought, I followed what you said. Okay, by her logic, right? She is a she's a money stealer, right? Because if we look at what some Christians do, they steal money, they molest boys. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? They dang gay. They're, they're, you, 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 you see what I'm saying? They're, they're by, no, listen what I'm saying. They they go both ways. They on the down low. You got pastors giving women AIDS, right? Now. If I take all of that and put that on her, I would be wrong. But see, by her logic, right? She wants to take what somebody else did, right? And try to put that on me. Now, deal with me. You don't have me saying anything. You understand what I'm saying? I just sit back and spectate. I'm the type of person, if the pews mean that much to me, I go to Savannah myself and go look at the pews and take pictures and study it myself. Them pews don't mean nothing to me. You understand what I'm saying? That's not the fight I jumped in the ring for. So I suggest you show some Christ-like behavior because you are in front of you are in front of people who don't even believe in your book. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. She already just apologized, yo. She didn't apologize to me. She apologized to you, Garfield. She didn't apologize to me. She was the one. She apologized to the panel. <laughs> Particularly came at me. Oh, she, she apologized to the panel. Are you on the she panel? She apologized to me in particular uh, who she came yeah. at. You know what I'm saying, though, she apologized to the panel, though. So hey, listen, panel, listen. Right? She don't have to listen. Listen. If Come she, on, man. Come on. Bro, 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 bro. bro. Okay, let me say this. First of all, listen, listen, listen. She said what she said. She stopped herself. She apologized. I'm not going to be on my show listening to somebody telling me, uh, talking about Sherry, who's a black woman with children in America. I ain't got time for that. She said what she said. She apologized. That's it, bro. We don't need to talk about that. No, no, but how do you feel about the pews? That's all I, I feel. About. I, I told you about the pews. It's like this. What, right, what I, I don't about? think that there's a definitive what language on it. Hold up. Let me finish. Want, what else you want to talk about? I don't think there's a definitive language on the pews. That's my okay. position. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. And, and that I can agree with. So based on that, Yakahan, uh, can we agree that based on Hitchison's razor that states what can be asserted without evidence can also be dismissed without evidence? And then we can say as a collective as hebrews and non-hebrews that that's not hebrew and we can't assert that it is would you agree to that i mean it, we can say either way you can some some can say it's some hebrew on there right? hey, hold, on, hold on a second hold on a second hold on hold on hold on guys i want to say something to defend off the way i think 
you need to go back to school, to be honest. And I want you to come on a panel. I want to give you five, well, it's 410. I'm going to see where the panel is going because I really do have to go. I have to get somewhere by five o'clock. But if you could come on and make an argument, if we're saying that Bantu are from Shem, um, ladies and gentlemen, Bantu DNA alone is killing you. Bantu DNA pre-exists any idea or thought of Shem. And by the way, if, if every human being comes out of Africa, where did Shem come from? Hey, Gruffy, you know the craziest part, though? We playing ourselves, man. Come on, man. You see, this is the problem that Anonymous Hebrew had. You could see it in his argument. All of them, they pick out a piece of DNA to fit the narrative. You not a damn Hebrew. You never was, you'll never be. This is why you're in the situation that you're in. The Hebrews, if you look in the 1500s, right? The Hebrews had a tradition of them being the um the descendant of Yaconiah and David, right? From the Babylonian Jews who went into Babylon and lived there. They have a tradition coming from then. And these people went around and every country they went in past the Bennett, they got kicked out because of usury. And they were very good with money. We have record primary sources of Jews lending Nebuchadnezzar money before he even went into Judah. 13%. Okay. They got kicked out of that. Hey, Can I share my screen for one second? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. None of these guys are genetically connected. None of these guys who run around on YouTube and claim it. None of them. Not one of them. They are a bunch of frauds. Hey, hold on. Okay, I, I can prove you wrong. Now, you can't you can't let, me, let me say one thing. Go ahead, Kyle. Show where you go, Sean. I'm going to let you speak. This is, this is just a funny thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. After Kyle, I'm going to let you talk for two minutes. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, Kyle. The funniest thing in the world is that I guess the Hebrews are leaning on this Bantu thing, but they also lean on being Igbo or Yoruba and these different people. And they're not even, they're not even Bantu. Did y'all know that? Yeah, these people y'all talking about are not even Bantu. They don't speak a Bantu language. <laughs> that, to me, that's just that, ridiculousness. That's, and then they want to debate people like, oh, I want to debate you. I want to debate you. Come on, man. Really? Uh, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Dumb. Uh, it's not uh, you. Now, 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 let me give Yakin and the Tom. I got to give him two minutes. Go ahead. 4.13. You have until okay. the four. Now, Go ahead and prove. I want you to prove to us. because Hold on. I'm going to write down everything you said. Go ahead. You got two minutes. Now, ancestry, right? Descendancy. That's what we're saying, right? We're saying that we're descendants of these people. Now, you can, what's, what is the, the, the automatically legit way you can prove is autosomally. Now, you're talking about haplotypes. We don't know what haplotype is an Israelite haplotype, first of all. There's no such thing as an Israelite haplotype. Now, from my search, because I did it, I've seen Israelites from the Yemenite Jews have AB haplotype, and I've seen also they have Jews who have T1B haplotype. I've seen some in Asia who have the C haplotype. So there is no particular haplotype. But how do we know that they're all Jews? We know because there's an autosomal connection. You understand what I'm saying? They share something in the Cinemorgans. That's how we know. So, yes, anonymous Hebrew, he has, um, and his ancestry, he does have uh, West Asian DNA. So, you understand what I'm saying? Just like myself, I also have a connection to other Israelite groups, like an Iraqi Jew, my cousin, Sahid, in Iraq, who's an Iraqi Jew. You understand what I'm saying? Him, he has 2% Sub-Saharan Africa, right? So how the heck are me and him um, sharing DNA together and he ain't never been to Africa and I ain't never been to Iraq? So we share a common ancestor. And there's other Jewish populations that I have connection to, like the Yemenite Jews. Now, when you look like you, you have Ashkenazi DNA. You got 3.9% Ashkenazi DNA. That's more of your more ancient antiquity DNA. Your most recent uh, admixture or your most recent DNA is West African, uh, Garfield. So if we go back in, into antiquity, you are asking I be Jew and not a West African. Huh? What you mean, huh? Yeah, yes. The lower your percentages, the more, the more antique it is. 
two minutes no, left. No, Thank you. No, 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 guys. Everybody, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. What? Everybody be quiet. Relax, 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 relax. Hey, um, I thank you for actually saying nothing. All right. Um, I'm going to show you something real quickly, ladies, on the screen. All right. Because these guys, these are the, 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 dumb, the dumbed down segment of the African-American community. And I mean that wholeheartedly. The problem is they don't understand. They don't understand nothing that they're speaking about. They don't understand nothing. And I repeat that. Absolutely nothing that they speak about they understand. Now, let, let's Garfield take a look at this for a second. Because you know in Ancestry DNA, what they do is, family, they tell you what time period the DNA actually came into your system, right? It's something called a molecular clock. So if you have a molecular clock and it's telling you where you were at what time, why should I listen to this guy? How is he telling me where I'm from and how I'm doing? Because molecular clocks are not active. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Molecular clocks are irate. Oh, you're not going to do that. Love, love it. You're not going to do that. Because nothing is accurate. When it comes to you guys, only when you believe it or it's subscribed to your conversation, then it makes sense. But let me show this to the to the um to the family real quickly here. Because um hold on one second. Let me do this for the DNA. Hold on one second here. DNA story, DNA matches. Hold on a second. DNA matches. All right. Hold on one second. Personal Discoveries Project. All right, DNA matching DNA two lines, DNA story. All right. All right. You know what? Let's 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 do this. All right. Let me get to twenty three of me. Chris, you wanted to say something in the meantime, brother? No, I'm going to just sit back and log this one out. I'm just listening to y'all. Um, uh, <laughs> go ahead, man. I don't know what they're arguing about, man. Why you want to be a Jew in 2021, man? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. No, I'm not arguing about Let me show this. Let me show this. In his antiquity. Let me show you. Hello, 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 hello. All right, let me ask you a question. I'm going to share my, my DNA results real quickly with the screen. And I'm going to ask you a, a simple question. Look at this. I want everybody to look at this, what this guy said. He says this 3.9% Ashkenazi Jew was when? When was it, my brother? I didn't say when. I said you're more in antiquity. You're more Ashkenazi Jew in antiquity. The lower the, the lower your at mixture, that's more who you are in antiquity. All right. Now, how did I get this three point nine percent Ashkenazi Jew? How did it happen? Either through your mom's side or through your father's side. All right. I'm gonna ask again. How I did just, I get this? Your mom side or your father's side? When did this happen? When did it happen? I don't know when it happened. All right. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, Garfield coming out of Africa has nothing to do. You see, this is why they run from paternal and maternal. Remember when Anonymous Hebrew was on? He said that he was this group, right? EM 180. And actually was wrong. He was actually EM 180. But look at mm -hmm. this though. EM 180 originated 17,000 years ago, right? If his paternal group which is his father's lineage, because some of these Hebrew Israelites came by their father's side. In 17,000 years ago, I'm going to ask everybody on the panel right now. Everybody on the panel, open up your mic. Now, Sister Sherry Love, yes. 17,000 years ago, was there anyone in the world called a Hebrew, an Israelite, a Shemite, a Hamite, or a Japhetite? Not that far back, the the the, the right. Bible is taking us. Hold on more. You're good, Chris. At seventeen thousand years ago, was there anyone named Hashem, Ham, or Japhet?
We move on to Kyle. We know, yeah, we already know nobody 17,000 years ago had no, 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 no
How are you claiming to be a group that goes back 70,000 years ago? Oh, uh, um, this era, they had walked in the Levant, man. So we got Levant, Levant, Levantine DNA. It's dumb. I'd rather listen to my brother Akili Negus right now. He's saying that all the biblical stories come from Congo. I would listen to him more than I listen to none of these. These guys can't prove that they're Hebrew Israelites. They can't prove it. They can't prove it. You know what, bro? If you want, where he at? Where y'all can at that? You know what? Come back on and, and talk. Go ahead, brother. Teach oh, me. Oh, yeah. First of all, molecular clocks, go ahead and look it up. Do the research to see if molecular clocks are accurate. They're not accurate, bro. They're based on mutation. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can go ahead and Google that up. Second go of ahead. all, we're talking about descendancy. Descendancy has nothing to do with a, with a haplotype, first of all, bro. <laughs> Dude, it has nothing to do with it. How do you explain um, Albert Einstein? He's a Jew, right? He has E1B1B DNA, bro. How do you explain that, bro? How do you explain that the Samaritan? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You're not going to win. You're not going to let it go. You're not going to let this go. Let it go. Listen, you Please. You see what I'm saying? I'm you saying it calmly. Please let this go. You're not going to take them out. He debunked you, man. See, this is what I'm saying? You ain't debunked nothing, bro. Sit down. Because I'll bring out the sources. I feel don't want that heat. How do you explain the Samaritan Jews? You're not going to beat them on this. I've been coming here for the longest. They've been going through this. You're making a fool of yourself right now. You're going to let it go, man. Let it go. You let don't know what you're Jerry Love. Sit down. Let it, let let it go. Yeah. Listen, I'm on the sideline hey, listening, hey, listening hey, to him beat hey, your hey, head hey, in, bro. Hey, let hey, it go. Hey, All right, go hey, ahead. Hey, go hey, ahead. Go hey, ahead. Go hey, ahead. Everybody's proud of my name, bro. What I'm going to do is, hey, listen. This is this is all you got to do, beloved. Yakana, this is all you got to do. Prove how you are an Israelite. Just prove to me how you are an Israelite. Okay, so now let's go into uh, my, my heritage DNA, okay? First of yeah, all. I got that too. So what? I got that too, but go ahead. Right, my heritage DNA. So let's go there, first of all, because I'm going to prove to you. When you do these DNA tests, they just give you the region. They don't give you the populations that you're actually connected to, right? Mm -hmm. So they give you the regions. So mm -hmm. now, listen, in my most recent... I'm, I'm sorry. Before you say one more word, one, I'm asking a question. Do you believe that you're a descendant of your father and your father's father? That's yeah, what you can be from your mother or father in the yeah, Bible. I'm asking, I'm asking you that. So what? You. I believe from both sides. It can come from both, both sides, sides, right? Okay. All right. Go ahead, beloved. Yeah, right. I believe it can come from mother and father. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now, let me... Sh am I sharing my screen? Let me share my screen. If you allow me to share my screen. Okay? So let me share my screen. And uh, I think you got to allow me to share it. Here we go. Okay, share anyway, what, what does your name mean? Yahoo Kananan. What, it what means that it? I am favored by Yahuwah. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's my My Heritage go ahead, DNA. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want okay. to So now, listen. <laughs> you know, okay. we, I have 1.2 million. <laughs> right? I'm sorry. I can't. No, do hold it. up. What's so funny? I can't do it, but go ahead, brother. No, this is deep. You said ahead. no. This brother, is what you go said. Ahead, man, 1.2%. Go ahead, bro. Okay, you made the argument that we have no connections to the Middle East, okay? Yeah, so here, can, can I finish? So here mm -hmm. we go. Here is my um Middle Eastern, right? Also, mm -hmm. West Asian is a part of Middle Eastern. So that's about, what, 2.6 or let's just say Ooh. Middle Eastern DNA, right? South Asian DNA at 1%. 1.8 percent okay oh my god so then we have also in uh my native american which is 2.3 so in antiquity i'm middle eastern and uh how far, native in american. How, far how far in antiquity brother i don't know how far in antiquity your lowest listen to me right. when i tell you your lowest ad mixture is your more ancient brother okay hold on where you get that from what do you mean? Where do you get that from? Where do you get that? You can ask, hold up. You can Show ask me. Show source on that. Oh, on that. Look up Cinemorgans. Look up Cinemorgans and admixtures, bro. Right, How it. you arguing with me about stop, DNA? Stop, you don't know this, bro. Stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. Stop. All right, stop. Stop for a minute. How you arguing with DNA? You don't know this. Stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. Now, look at this, family. This is the genetic studies on Jews. <laughs> Actually, this is on Wikipedia. And I want you guys to look at something carefully here. If you look at the Y DNA, of Ashkenazi Jews, right? They show you the chart, the markers from the Middle East. 
if you compare, look at Michael Hammer's study. This is 20% E1B1B, which is in the Middle Eastern area. He, they have another 24% with a J marker and a G marker, another J2 marker, another 20%. So hold on a second. So these Ashkenazi Jews have more genetic marker or a connection to the Middle East than these Negroes in America? And I'm going to listen to these Negroes in America? You're talking about... No, you're not, my brother. I'm just trying to show you how silly you sound claiming 2.6% and 2.8% because that is showing you that within you, your autosomal DNA, that small amount is irrelevant, which could have happened during the transatlantic slave trade. It's recent. I'm sure if you if I go into your DNA, I'll show that. I'm I'm 100% sure. You want to be a Jew so bad. Disgust me. All of you guys disgust me. Disgusting. It don't make no sense. I even have a com have a conversation for what? I want to look at the B one B twenty percent, seventeen plus seven twenty four percent. Another J two, another twenty percent of Middle Eastern DNA. This is Ashkenazi Jews, and you have two point eight or two point six, and you ready to run and say, "Oh, I got Middle Eastern connection." When did that connection enter into your DNA? That's what the molecular clock is for. And it will show you. It will show 